All right, everyone, here is the last story. Now, remember, I told you that this one isn't going to have any pictures. This one, you're going to need to just use your library listening ears to listen to. But this is a book that Mrs. Poole has had for a very long time since I first started teaching. It's called Chicken Soup for the Soul. It is 101 stories to open the heart and rekindle the spirit. It is written and compiled by Jack Canfield and Mark Victor Hansen. And it's a book that I used to use in my classroom a lot to share stories with my students. And we um, would kind of, we'd use it kind of as a reward system because they loved to hear the stories. If you, as you can see, it's filled with all sorts of bookmarks and it's actually even filled with some of my students' pictures through the years. Um, but th when I was picking out the stories for this week and we kind of had that dot and spot theme going on and the art theme, it made me think of this story, which is a favorite of mine. It is called The Little Boy. When you look at it, you can see that there's no pictures, there's just words. So you guys enjoy the story and I'm going to read it to you, okay? Here we go. The Little Boy. Once a little boy went to school. He was quite a little boy and it was quite a big school. But when the little boy found that he could go to his room by walking right in from the door outside, he was happy and the school did not seem quite so big anymore. One morning, when the little boy had been in school a while, the teacher said, Today we are going to make a picture. Good, thought the little boy. He liked to make pictures. He could make all kinds, lions and tigers, chickens and cows, trains and boats, and he took out his box of crayons and began to draw. But the teacher said, Wait! It's not time to begin. And she waited until everyone looked ready. Now, said the teacher, we are going to make flowers. Good, thought the little boy. He liked to make flowers. And he began to make beautiful ones with his pink and orange and blue crayons. But the teacher said, wait, and I will show you how. And she drew a flower on the blackboard. It was red with a green stem. There, said the teacher, now you may begin. The little boy looked at the teacher's flower. Then he looked at his own flower. He liked his flower better than the teacher's, but he did not say this. He just turned his paper over and made a flower like the teacher's. It was red with a green stem. On another day, when the little boy had opened the door from the outside all by himself, the teacher said, Today we are going to make something with clay. Good, thought the little boy. He liked clay. He could make all kinds of things with clay. Snakes and snowmen, elephants and mice, cars and trucks. And he began to pull and pinch his ball of clay. But the teacher said, Wait, it's not time to begin. And she waited until everyone looked ready. Now, said the teacher, we are going to make a dish. Good, thought the little boy. He liked to make dishes. And he began to make some that were all shapes and sizes. But the teacher said, wait, and I will show you how. And she showed everyone how to make one deep dish. There, said the teacher, now you may begin. The little boy looked at the teacher's dish. Then he looked at his own. He liked his dishes better than the teacher's, but he did not say this. He just rolled his clay into a big ball again and made a dish like the teacher's. It was a deep dish. And pretty soon the little boy learned to wait and to watch and to make things just like the teacher. And pretty soon, he didn't make things of his own anymore. Then it happened that the little boy and his family moved to another house in another city and the little boy had to go to another school. This school was even bigger than the other one and there was no door from the outside into his room. He had to go up some big steps and walk down a long hall to get to his room. And the very first day he was there, the teacher said, Today we are going to make a picture. Oh, 
good, thought the little boy, and he waited for the teacher to tell him what to do. But the teacher didn't say anything. She just walked around the room. When she came to the little boy, she said, don't you want to make a picture? Oh, yes, said the little boy. What are we going to make? I don't know until you make it, said the teacher. How shall I make it, asked the little boy. Why, any way you like, said the teacher. And any color, asked the little boy. Any color, said the teacher. If everyone made the same picture and used the same colors, how would I know who made what? And which is which? I don't know, said the little boy. And he began to make pink and orange and blue flowers. He liked his new school, even if it didn't have a door right in from the outside. The end. That particular story was written by Helen E. Buckley. So that is the story of the little boy. The end. I hope you enjoyed all the stories this week. Like I said, I am going to include a couple of videos. Um, one is about the Student One library card that connects us with the Sonoma Public Library so that when you're waiting for books from Austin Creek to be ready for you, um, you can take advantage of all the wonderful books that are um, county has to offer as well through the public library. So um, that is one video I'm going to make. And I'm also going to show you a little bit more on how to search up a book on our own Austin Creek Elementary OPAC page. So those are a couple more videos that will be included this week. I hope you enjoyed the stories and I hope you're enjoying stories on your own at home. And that's it. Happy reading.